Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So don't miss this chance. I know a lot of you is already in on these, but I got to keep bringing them up, guys, because we got to keep doing our updates on them, keep track on them, keep giving you guys the information and details that's coming out to give you guys the same conviction that I'm having. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. You should already know what these bangers is that you don't want to miss out on. It's been a while. They haven't, you know, done this thing yet, but I'm pretty sure it's bound to happen soon, guys. Each time these things run up, these stocks in particular, they run hard. And when they pull back, they pull back hard, guys. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We know those bangers are Tilray and Sundial Growers, guys. For the ones that don't know, for the ones new to the channel, I'm heavily invested in marijuana companies and also EV guys. I do believe they are going to be the future of our future. And we'll not leave out AMC. We know AMC is most definitely in there as well, guys. But for all the ones that's been following, no, I always play smart and meticulously. So for a play like AMC, it wasn't one of my biggest investments. I made a lot of money on AMC early on due to the fact that I over leveraged my position, meaning I put in way too much money, way more than I can afford to lose. So as soon as it ran up, I told you guys how I like to do things. You know, I grabbed that initial investment out of there, plus the money I couldn't afford to lose and played with the money I can afford to lose, guys. So that's how we do things over here. We invest, we go hard in companies that we actually believe in, in any type of company situations that come about to where it's massive, massive potential, like AMC and plays like Sheeb and plays like Doge, to where the potential is there, but it's not, you know, fundamentally there. That's the place that we make sure we be cautious on how much we throw out there on the line, guys. So I hope that made sense. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We know that marijuana is on the verge of getting fully legalized in the states. We know Biden, before he got elected, he was hard on marijuana, seeing as if, you know, that was going to be one of his main priorities once he got in office. But once he did, things shift. His whole mindset shift. He did a whole 360. We already know how the game go, though. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, guys. We know Chuck Schumer. He urges senators to help finalize legalization bill. He will file in April, and he's a Democrat, but we also have Republicans on the same page. That's the thing The thing with marijuana. It ain't just a, a one-side party or just, a two, or just a few people that want marijuana to be legalized. It's everybody, the Democrats, the Republicans, also the people, we, the people. We did a survey over... Right here, over 60% of of uh, 60 percent of the survey say uh, marijuana should be legalized for recreational and medical use. 31% say medical use only. So that's 81% of the people saying marijuana should be legalized. And 8% say not at all. Only 8%, guys. So we got the Democrats, the Republicans. We got the people, majority. The majority say so. And we also have big companies like Amazon also backing marijuana, guys. So marijuana is bound to be legalized all over very soon. And like I tell you guys, don't wait till the herd come in to try and get your shares. Wait to till rate popping off to 20, 30, 40 bucks a share back to 60. Then you trying to rush in. Nah, we here early, way before everybody else, way before everybody else. If you already been buying in, you probably got hit. You know, a little like I did, you're probably down in your positions. But if you just not seeing this video and don't have a position at all, oh man, you definitely is in a great position to have a very, very low cost average and be in the profits and see green very, very shortly and as soon as possible. Not financial advice at all, guys. Just letting you guys know what I'm doing, the positions I'm, I'm in, the moves I'm making. So, Marijuana is most definitely going to be a banger going into the future and also EV. I'm focusing on companies that has the sky to grow, meaning it, it have no limits. It didn't really, companies that didn't really, the, the, really the market cap, guys. I'm trying to think of a way so you can really understand what I'm saying. The market cap means a lot. Meaning just because you see a company at a certain price, they could have had a reverse split, a stock split, anything. It's all about that market cap and the size and how many, you know, what's the actually size of that company? How, 
how what's the growth factor in that company how much have that company already grown over the years I'm trying to get the words out guys just like for facebook for instance if you've been watched that video i felt this facebook reached its peak just like myspace like eventually some companies you did good you had a good run you made money it was a successful company but some companies just reach a peak meaning it's on to the next. We tired of this now. So that's what I mean by investing in companies early on. That's why we got the advantage with EV and marijuana companies because the market cap is so small that it has 10x, 20x, 50x potential to grow with ease. Other than companies like Facebook, Amazon, Google, Tesla. You get what I'm saying? Even though it's an EV, Tesla still has crazy, crazy, crazy um numbers that it could grow with this market cap it can be it's going to be the biggest company in the world over apple i believe one day guys but it's not you know comparing tesla to those other companies because we know only it's probably less than one percent of the vehicles in the world that's electric so that shows you all the potential all the potential that companies like that still has guys so the growth is there so i hope you get what i'm saying with that guys you already know do your own research and due diligence though because you already know nobody knows the exact right answer nobody knows the exact time when any stock or security is going to go up only thing we do here is set ourselves up put ourselves in the best position possible buy when everybody is in fear buy when it's cheap and sell when everybody is you know trying to run in trying to trying to rush in and get the position that you was already set up in guys so you already know that's my take on tilray and also sundial now if you guys want to know the numbers i'm pretty sure we talked about in the previous videos we know that sundial is already broke through its main resistance on uh and after hours last week we ran up to around 67 68 cents that resistance was right at 67 we run up there again break through that that's the last resistance sundial had to go through before it can run almost touching the dollar run up to around the high 80s 90 cents per share we know sundial got a 180 day extension you need to hurry up and get its share price over a dollar so it can continue to be listed and you know stay uh you know stay on the compliance continue to be able to be listed on the exchange if it don't do that for 10 consecutive days on or before august 8th it will be this list delisted guys so it most definitely trying to do everything in its power to do that so it could stay on the exchange also tilray tilray is the king guys like i told you guys when tilray starts to move it's gonna move hard tilray got a resistance at seven dollars and 38 cents 39 cents they break above that we could fly straight to the eights then once we get to the eights we got a resistance coming up at around nine dollars 89 cents break above that that'll fly straight to double digits guys so that's what we're gonna sit back patiently and wait on like i told you guys i'm in it for the long run with these as i buy in early load up load up load up load up you'll see me selling off later on in the double digits just to pull out my initial investment to keep me safe probably put a little extra out to pay myself for getting in early to reward yourself go have fun take a little trip buy a little something you already know that's the you know that's my strategy that's how i pay myself that's how i do that's how I, that's my little thing so you always come up with your own little thing your own little you know whatever little system you come up with and do you so that's all i got for this video guys just want to give y'all a quick update on sundown and tilray let you guys know the bangers that i'm holding and i'm waiting on to explode so you already know what to do add me on instagram hit the button over here i love y'all we out and god bless you we go